Hi everyone, this is Emmy, and today I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to make these slippers. This is a pattern from Fleece for All on Etsy. From the pattern you can make these slippers with a size 9 hook or a size 6.5 hook for a more dense slipper. This video is going to be a demonstration on how to do the front post and back post double crochet so that you can achieve this nice vertical ribbing. This pattern is available for purchase at www.fleeceforall.etsy.com and the pattern includes all sizes from age 1 up to adult. To make these slippers, first you're going to make the base. Follow my chunky adult slippers and here's the link for that. Okay, so once you have this bottom part finished, we're now going to start building up the cuff. Continue working with your size 9mm crochet hook and two strands of worsted weight yarn. Attach the yarn in the center back stitch. Just pull the yarn through and make a chain stitch and that's how you attach your yarn. Make two more chain stitches to be equivalent to the double crochet. And now I'm going to evenly double crochet all around the opening of the slipper. So I'm just going to make double crochet stitches all around the opening. Like that. When a pattern says evenly work around, it simply means that you work all around the opening in such a way that the stitches are not either pulling too tightly or buckling because there are too many. So you basically want to work the same number of stitches as there are in the base for the cuff. So I'm just going to continue around. Okay, I've worked all the way around the opening and at the end of the row I have slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And now we're going to alternate a front post double crochet, back post, front post, back post. Do a front post double crochet, yarn over the hook the same as you would for a normal double crochet. Normally we would be crocheting into this stitch, but for a front post double crochet from the front, we're going to go around the post of the double crochet, and then we're just going to complete double crochet as usual. Now we're going to do a back post double crochet yarn over, from the back go around the post of the double crochet and complete the double crochet as usual. So front post, complete the double crochet as usual, back post. So we're just going to alternate all the way around doing front post, back post front post, back post. Okay, I've worked all the way around doing front post, back post, front post, back post. The end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to turn because I don't want my work to take on a twisted look. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do front post and back post. So I'm going to look and see which should I be doing first. This is a front post because it's sticking out, and this is a back post. So this is a back post, so that means I'm going to do a back post. So I'm going to back post, double crochet, and this is a front post. So I'm going to front post, double crochet. And see, this is recessed, so it's in the back. Back post. And this is in the front, front post. So now you can see that we're getting this ribbing stitch. So we're going to continue that all the way around. Okay, so I've now completed the second row. And you can make as many rows as you like. Okay, I've gone ahead. I've made a total of eight rows of front and back post alternating. And then I attached my darker color. And I did one row of front and back post double crochet. Now I can fasten off and weave the yarn end into the finished work. And if you like, when you're finished, you can chain a cord and pass it through a row of stitches at the ankle. 